Rolling video two. In video one, we mentioned, but didn't do any examples, that when you deal with a rolling problem, you have to use Newton's second law for translation, you have to use Newton's second law for rotation, and you also have to use this bridge equation, which connects angular acceleration with tangential acceleration. A is equal to R times alpha. And we are going to see that here. So here we have a solid cylinder that is going to roll down this ramp. There's enough friction so that this will roll and not slide. And we want to know what the force of friction is, what the angular acceleration of the cylinder is, and what's the tangential acceleration at the rim of the cylinder. Whenever we have a cylinder, we remember that the moment of inertia for a cylinder or a disc is one half m r squared. So let's keep that in mind as we proceed here. If we're going to do anything with Newton's second law, we need to draw a free body diagram. And as we mentioned in the earlier video, we need to draw the forces where they act. So the weight will act at the center of mass of the cylinder. The normal force, that's where the cylinder touches the surface. So the normal force acts right there. Right here, of course, is our center of mass. And the friction force is going to act this way. We're just going to call it F sub F. So let's use Newton's second law for translation, which, as we know, is F net equals mass times acceleration. And let's deal with this. Let's call down the plane. We'll call that the x direction. And we'll call that the y direction. So let's see what we can do here. The force down the plane is going to be mg. If we know what theta is, we're assuming we do know what theta is. Oop, right there. That's mg sine theta. But friction is going opposite that, so minus friction, and that needs to equal the mass of this object times the acceleration down the plane. All right, now let's do Newton's second law for rotation. The net torque. The net torque is just friction multiplied by the radius force times lever arm. The weight and the normal force both go through the center of mass. And so we're going to take the torques about the center of mass. So that is the net torque. And that's equal to the moment of inertia, which is 1 half m r squared. We mentioned that earlier, multiplied by alpha. Can we simplify this? I think that r can cancel one of those. The force of friction is going to equal 1 half m r alpha. And finally, we need to use the bridge equation. What don't we know here? We don't know the force of friction. We don't know the acceleration. We don't know alpha. And that's a problem, because right now we have three unknowns, but only two equations. The third equation is that bridge equation. And the bridge equation is what we're going to put in right here. The tangential quantity is equal to r times the angular quantity. So there's the third equation right there. And then this force of friction, we're going to put in right there. We'll try and do this quickly because we want to be efficient on this video. Let's see if we can make some sense of this. Here we go. mg sine theta minus 1 half m r alpha equals m r alpha. I'm seeing an m cancel from every term. Here I have 1 half r alpha, and here's a whole r alpha. So that gives me three halves r alpha is equal to g sine theta. 
I think we can solve this for alpha, can't we? Alpha is going to be two-thirds g sine theta over r. 2g sine theta over 3r. The tangential acceleration, is it still on the screen? Yes, it is. The tangential acceleration, I'm pointing at it now, is just alpha times r. So if that's alpha, multiply that by r, and that's going to give us the tangential or the linear acceleration. So that's going to be 2 thirds g sine theta. And lastly, we need to find the force of friction. Well, the force of friction, there's the equation for the force of friction right there. We need to put our expression for alpha in there. Can I scribble that in? 2 g sine theta, 2 g sine theta over 3 r. What does that give us? The r cancels, the 2 cancels, so I'm seeing 1 third mg sine theta.